How to create a web page using the JDoodle online editor. First, you go to the jdoodle.com and then don't forget to sign in. Sign in with Google. Then you choose your active account. Now you already signed in. How will you know that you already signed in? You click the icon at the upper right corner of your screen. Then you will see Hi Rachel. Then you will see the word log out, meaning you already signed in to JDoodle. Then after that, you choose HTML and JavaScript. Then you will see here a built-in tags or a built-in codes in creating a web page. Since you will create a simple HTML web page, so you remove this script because this is for the uh, CSS, the cascading style sheet. So remove that and also this one. Now start to write your web page. The built-in tags here, such as head, opening, closing, body, opening, closing, and of course the HTML opening and closing. Now start to write your title inside the head tag. Title. It will automatically create a closing tag for the title. So example, my first, my title is my first web page. Then after that, done with the title, go to the body now. Example, I'll write heading one. For the heading one, the, the tag for that is H1. Okay, opening and closing. This is this is heading is heading one. And then you copy. Then paste. Change it heading one to heading two. Okay, this one is heading one, and then this is heading two. Then you copy to create heading three. Just change the number to three. Then this is heading 3. Paste again. Then change it to 4. Heading 4. Paste again. Change it to heading 5. Then 5. Another one. The last. Heading, heading six. Okay, so take note the HTML has six headings. Heading one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I want to create a list. create a list so there are there are types of HTML list we have an ordered list 
ordered list and the nested list. So here, for the unordered, I will write unordered list. Okay, this. This is an ordered an or this is an ordered list. And then for the list item Okay, you bring this down. This is an ordered list. So, an ordered, an ordered list number one. I want to make three list items. Li stands for the list item. Copy and then paste. An ordered list number two. Paste again, an ordered list number 3. Okay, then this time, okay, so an ordered list. Now I want to make ordered list. I will just copy this one. And then ordered list. I will change this to O, stands for the ordered list. I'll remove UN to become ordered. And now I want to link my web page to a certain website. The tab is A A space href. href stands for the horizontal reference equals if you use equal, there must be a double code. Then your web, your website, https, then colon, slash, two slashes, www.w3schools.com. Www okay, so this is my website. I'll link my web page to this website. And then the name of my my website is or the name of this website is HTML HTML website. Okay, so this is the HTML website www w3schools.com Now, I want to add some horizontal rule. Okay, so HR I want, if you don't want to have color, so you close it like that. So, if you want to have color in your horizontal rule, so HR is HR is space color equals or oh, there is an equal again so if there is an equal don't forget there must be a double code I want to put blue okay, okay I want to put blue and then I want to have the marquee marquee okay what's the use of marquee it's from moving it's a moving text from left to right or right to left it's up to you if you want to go direction but my marquee here is just a default direction from right to left left to right then i will write HTML is fun okay 
so I want to have two horizontal rule copy then paste right so let me check I have the title my first web page and then I'll write paragraph okay how to insert paragraph just enter lang okay just enter and then put paragraph so automatically it will create opening then closing welcome welcome to my first web page web page but i want bigger i want bigger text so i'll copy this one change it to h1 because h1 is the biggest heading among h1 up to h6 so h1 is the biggest so the smallest in number is the bigger in size okay you can write there hello hello So that's it we have I have here the heading one then paragraph then I have heading one to six unordered list and then I have also the ordered list by the way there are four HTML list we have the unordered list ordered list we have also the definition list and the nested list but this time i will just put an ordered list and ordered list and i have also a link link to html website which is the www.w3schools.com then i have two horizontal rule inside is html is fun that's it I want to execute now execute All right. okay so here is the output now welcome to my first web page that is the heading one and then hello everyone is the paragraph and then this is heading one this is heading 2, heading 3, heading 4, heading 5, heading 6. Take note of the size. The, the, smaller, the smaller the number is the bigger in size. The smallest in size that's the smaller number here in heading. Heading 6 is the smallest. And then the unordered list is here. This is an ordered list. This is an ordered list. An ordered list number 1, an ordered list number 2, an ordered list number 3. Take note that the default the default list here is represented with the bullets and then the unordered list default is a number and then here is my marquee text html is fun moving from right to left left to right that is the default direction of this marquee and then i have here the html website okay i can click this one okay double double three schools refuse to connect maybe there is no signal just wait. Okay, go back now to your web page. And now it's time to save your work. 
just click the three dots beside the execute button and then click save us write the file name my, write the file name my simple web page click save us now project successfully saved and after that you click the editable share to share your code editable share and then click share and then copy this URL copy this URL and paste it to your Gmail message if you want to send this code to Gmail message copy and paste it to Gmail message and then send However, if you want to send this URL or this link to Messenger, you copy it and paste it to Messenger of a certain person that you want to send your code. That's it. Then if you are done, you Click the X button to close and then delete.